Hi guys, the Foreign Secretary, James Not So Cleverly, appeared on Sky News with Kay Burley where she asked him about the plight of Palestinians who were about to be placed under a state of siege. And his response was that those in leadership positions should condemn the actions of Hamas. His reasoning was that if they don't, it will send a message to the world that all Palestinians support acts of terror, which he admits is not the case. When pushed on the likely suffering non-combatants in Gaza are likely now to face, he said, hang on now, and then deflected. But I have said that, um, that, that, that Palestinian voices, particularly those in leadership positions, should criticise the appalling behaviour, the, the atrocious actions that have been perpetrated by uh, Hamas, these indiscriminate killings, these, these murders, these kidnaps, these terrorist uh, actions uh, should be condemned by the leadership of the Palestinian Authority because otherwise there will be this perception that all Palestinians support uh, Hamas and they don't and that all Palestinians support this action and I know that they don't. And what support does the British government offer to the people of Gaza? I note both you and the Prime Minister have tweeted your support for Israel um, several times over the last 24 hours. Nothing about those that are suffering in Gaza. Well, uh, we, we are working with uh, the international community, the countries in the, in the region, to try and uh, minimise the, the risk of escalation. We don't want this uh, spreading. Uh, I have spoken with the Egyptian foreign minister and, of course, the Rafah crossing, which is the land crossing from Gaza into Israel, uh, is open. So there is the opportunity for people to leave Gaza uh, into Egypt. We will continue talking with the Egyptian authorities about maintaining uh, that, uh, that crossing. I mean, ultimately... Um, the, 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 the point that we're seeing is that Israel have come under attack from Hamas. They do have a legitimate right uh, to a proportionate uh, response to try and secure their borders, to try and prevent further atrocities like this, and we support them in that action. I understand that, but it's not quite answering my question. Um, you could take this opportunity, I suppose, to offer public support to those people in Gaza that are basically under siege at the moment. No water, no well, electricity, hang on, hang on. no food. I think... I, I, I think that, that implicit in your question, there's this idea that, 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 that somehow, we, you know, if we say something about one country, we have to say something about their neighbour. The yes, I know that absolutely. But the truth is... Well, hang on. <laughs> so he's asked, what support are you providing to the ordinary people in Gaza who are under siege at the moment? And his response is, well, hang on. And then he's pushed, well, they are humans, and he says, well, yes, but... So on the one side, you're saying we're giving, giving complete and utter support to Israel in their response to, to Hamas, which is correct, okay? But when it comes to ordinary people who are not Hamas, well, you know, we're, we're working with um, parties in the region, we're talking to Egypt, we're talking to Jordan, we're talking to Saudi Arabia, we're talking to others who have some sort of influence um, what, what are you actually providing to the people of Gaza? Um, well, hang on now. <laughs> We're not supposed to help those people. We're supposed to help Israel. This is absolutely ridiculous. Like the or like you can criticize Hamas and say we're criticizing Hamas. We don't support Hamas. We want to see them uh, destroyed. If you want to go that far. But you, you have to say, but we're also supporting ordinary people who are struggling at the moment. We're trying to put pressure on the Israeli government not to impose a siege. Now, whether the British government have any influence or not is another thing. But you can try and at least say that. We're, we, we want to make sure that there, there are humanitarian corridors set up. Like we heard this from the Scottish First Minister. He was asking James Cleverly, please put pressure on Israel to create a humanitarian corridor so people can get out. People have been told, we're, we're, you're going to be, this place is going to be destroyed. Leave. And some of them are trying to leave into Egypt, which is going to create a problem there, of course. The Egyptians are not welcoming um, Palestinians. They don't want this problem. And the British government, who, sh who could have some influence or should be trying to trying to help out the Palestinian people here. They claim to be, you know, honest brokers. 
then they should be standing up also for ordinary people who have nothing to do with Hamas, who actually disagree with Hamas. But instead, it's this sort of weird diplomatic tap dance of, well, we need to condemn this and everyone needs to condemn this and, and that's it. Once it's condemned, then our hands, you know, we can wash our hands of the situation. A disgrace. But then this is James Cleverly. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.